Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So for the bit I need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. It feels like somebody's curious around a situation after I keep seeing the Eight of Cups, so a situation that somebody walked away from, that you walked away from. All right, immediate future for Taurus, please. What's coming up? Oh, cool. You got the magician right off the bat. You're manifesting. You're making things happen. The Nine of Pentacles. Money looking good. All right, no. This is a really good reading. Um, With the magician... You have the, the power from all the elements coming together so that you can manifest what it is that you're trying to manifest. We're going to clarify and find out. And you have the Nine of Pentacles in the middle of it. So you could be single, you could be working on your money, your career, like putting yourself first. But for the outcome, we have the Eight of Swords. So something's kind of got you wrapped in your head there by the outcome or vice versa, and all that's going to do is slow manifestation, but it's so much easier to say, don't worry, than it is to actually, don't worry. All right, show me this magician for Taurus, please. What is Taurus manifesting? Ah, I started to stumble away. Show me this magician, please. Oh, the Knight of Cups. Oh, shit. You got the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with the younger water sign. Somebody, that's, oh, you got somebody spying back here. Somebody is maybe about to propose. Yeah. Um, the situation is about to move forward here in like a massive way. It's kind of like skipping all the in-between stuff, like choices straight towards it. This is a freaking proposal. Or like an offer of commitment. All right. Wow. So <laughs> for some, you got the death card and the ace of cups there. It could be a Scorpio. This also could be something that, because we were talking about um, a situation you walked away from. This could be something that's brand new, but it also could be like a rebirth of something. But it's like after somebody focused on self, self-love. Or it's just a card of being single. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. Oh, crap. That's cool. It's going to have you in your head, though. You got the Six of Pentacles. Uh, sorry, the Six of Swords, the Hermit, Virgo, Energy. For some, somebody could be like... Um, this is kind of just a side note, but moving out of a house. Like, even if they saved up their money or somebody could be single and somehow something about moving out of the house this year. You got this proposal and then you got somebody who's kind of like really got their finances up. Um, this may have taken a while, but yeah, somebody's doing like a lot of work on their self physically and um, uh, like financially. But it's been very slow moving energy. There's been like a lot of self care. Like somebody had to get their so something together, their situation together, themselves together. Show me that Eight of Swords. Oh shit, for the outcome. All right, I guess we're taking those. You got the Three of Wands and the Wheel. So this does kind of stall things. Um, not in a bad way though. Um, there is worry around this outcome with the Eight of Swords. But the Eight of Swords is a card, it's self-imprisonment of the mind. So sometimes we can keep ourselves stuck. But we got this Three of Wands and the Wheel. So there is like this wait, waiting on the right time. With the Wheel there, it's like, um, it's one of those energies that is about divine time. Like it can't be rushed. It's, it's about the right time. It's for a reason. 
give me one more and it's also a, it's jupiter energy but it's a card of good luck and fate and destiny so it's kind of like a, um that's too many <clears throat> show me that wheel i'm gonna say a guarantee hole but nothing in life is guaranteed Show me that wheel, please, for Taurus. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, you have love coming straight towards you. It doesn't look like it's, it's like something that you've been hoping for. For some, it is a reunion. Um, or like an apology type energy. Shit. This is really nice. But it still feels like it's just a little ways off. Like, not very far. But it doesn't really look like it's right there right now. We have the Two of Wands here. And we're ending with the Seven of Cups. So that's like a card of, you know, kind of making decisions and having some things to figure out. So it also, though, could be this Eight of Swords that's, you know, kind of stalling somebody. It's like self-imprisonment of the mind. It brings the doubts. It brings the what-ifs. And then it brings contemplation. It's kind of interesting because we have like this proposal that somebody's manifesting over here and for some you know they might gotta get themselves together their money together or shit i mean this could even be like somebody who's like working out going to like get a haircut things like that but it's a little bit of a wait it might be because of that eight of swords but it's kind of it still is progressing though slowly because we have the two of wands over here and we're ending with the three of wands so but the Three of Wands is still like a waiting period. But that Eight of Swords could definitely be what's kind of, um, it, it may stall things, but the wheel is there. So it really doesn't make me, yeah, the Five of Wands, the Strength card, it doesn't, it just feels like it's, like there's a time for somebody's going to propose. <clears throat> All right, Taurus, I hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading that information's below as well you guys take care and i will see you next time bye